Did you know that less than 10% of our viewers are subscribed to the channel? Subscribe now and don't miss any news from the Grand Theft Auto universe. Welcome back to GTA Insights. Possible spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. An old leak from 2017 has resurfaced. User GTA 6 News and Leaks posted it on Twitter and commented on this leak. He wrote, GTA 6 leak from August 2017. Apparently Rockstar guys leaked it and got a warning message from Rockstar telling them to take it down. The dates may have changed. The info is half real and half fake. Ah, Jason did say Rockstar cut half of content in GTA 6. Take it with a grain of salt. The leak said, this master list will be updated accordingly upon the acknowledgement of further details or leaks that are deemed credible when they are made available by the valiant efforts of Matthew Downs via his Rockstar North contact. When Mr. Downs relays new information to myself, per his contact pertaining to Grand Theft Auto 6, it will be subsequently added to the list in sections. All nonsensical findings will be omitted. Production is well underway at Rockstar North. The map is finished. The game itself will be big. It will contain role-playing elements akin to that of Witcher 3. Rockstar Games aims to launch the game in fourth quarter of 2019 or 2020. The reveal trailer will be unveiled at the end of 2018. The game will be set in the modern era. The designated locality is Florida within Vice City, comprising both Miami and Orlando. Rockstar Games and Rockstar North intended to return to Vice City because it's VI, so Vice City. There will be three playable protagonists, one of which causes a whole lot of controversy over nothing. Male, stereotypical redneck and moonshiner. Mixed with Steve Urkel. Less aggressive than Trevor Phillips with a reactionary side. Gets into wacky situations, such as singing at a country music bar, destroying it with a bulldozer. A club owner. Teresa, a female with a militaristic background, having went absent without leave. Former prostitute. She causes controversy and is well written by the creative department, a character first, a woman second. The overall narrative of the game will be consistent with that of previous Grand Theft Auto installments, encompassing a humorous tone with satire. It makes fun of capitalism and liberalism. You will see degenerate liberal millennials, and also reptilian capitalist conservatives. Alligators will be one of the animals and mammals featured. The protagonists will not have to tend to a dog because it wasn't useful at all. There will be a large shopping mall, just as there was with Grand Theft Auto Vice City. There are both side missions that involve smuggling cocaine. Buckets will be used for resinking boats. There will be bounty hunting, with an infinite amount of repetition. Water activities will have more variety and usefulness. A drug kingpin of a similar creed to Melvin Big Smoke Harris will be featured. Balaclavas will be returning, per an Easter egg picture that the Rockstar developer leaked. There is an illustration or asset within the game that looks like a failed Triforce on some wall or something. Nothing too big, but that can be noticed. Like near a highway somewhere on the map. The Rockstar developer's functional area during production is water development, the cocaine smuggling both side missions inclusive. The Rhino Tank is returning, with improvements over Versus. The Dozer Bulldozer is returning. There will be a lot of diving. There will be references to the Epsilon cult in the form of a lot of Kardashian-inspired stuff like that. There is a sex scene that is akin to the same kind of vulgarity that was in Trevor's introduction scene in GTA 5. There will be psychopathic tendencies within the game opposite of Trevor, I think. Rockstar Games aims to release the PC version of the game 12 months after the console version, with more of a focus on it in GTA 6 than GTA 5. The Flying Cars Cheat is returning. The storyline structure will be somewhat similar to that of Grand Theft Auto, v in terms of choices for how to approach mission. By Daniel's volition, Grand Theft Auto 6 will be hard to beat Red Dead Redemption. It's pretty amazing. The Rockstar developer is known as Daniel Jameson. The leak was discovered via 4chan on August 6, 2017. It was promptly detected via Rockstar Games co-founder and CEO Terry Donovan, who stated that if any of this information is disseminated, we will be finding the leak and pressing charges. Please shut this thread down immediately. The 4chan thread was terminated within less than an hour of its creation, archived, and disclosed via Reddit and Twitter in that order. What do you guys think? Is this real or just another fake leak? Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 news.